This was my childhood dream car, and I decided to finally pick one up. It happened to be the cheapest one in the world. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Warwick, and you're watching Gas Tax. This is a 2004 VW R32 that I purchased for $5,400. You see, this car has been my childhood dream car, but unfortunately, I've only been able to get it now. What makes the R32 so special? It's basically the best of the best of the VW Golf category. You see, you get the Golf, then you get the GTI, then you get the R32. What exactly is the R32? Well, it has a 3.2 liter VR6 engine, six speed manual, and it is an all wheel drive. That's reason enough to love the R32. So let's take it for a spin. So what exactly is the R32? Well, it is a souped up GTI. It has all wheel drive, a 3.2 liter VR6 engine, and then a six-speed manual transmission. And that's the only way you could get the R32 in 2004. The next time this car came out was in 2008 with the Mach 5 body style, which I completely hate. And it has, and that car was only available in automatic. Why do I love this car? Firstly, the Mach 4 body style, for some reason, resonated with me the first time I saw it and I always wanted it. The all-wheel drive system, well, you know, it's Chicago, so having a little all-wheel drive system in Chicago is uh, basically a must. Why did I decide to pick it up? Well, it is my childhood dream car, and I decided to get one because I finally just redid my garage so I can start tinkering on toys again. I didn't want to go buy the mint condition one because then I wouldn't want to touch it. So I did buy the cheapest one in the world with a non salvage title because now I can actually work on it. What is wrong with it? Who knows? Many things. Um, but it will be fun and I will take you guys along on a journey while I'm working on this. So let's see the get up and go this car has. car uh, I'm actually gonna get it all street legal well street legal now but it needs uh, you know general service and everything done and then I'm gonna get it ready for the Wisconsin ice racing season I've always wanted to do ice racing and this year I said why not I'm gonna pick up my R32 and I think it's the perfect car for ice racing so over the next I don't know a couple months I'll be working on this car Firstly, going over all the issues that this car has. Um, figuring out how to fix it. And I'm, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna do it a budget build. I think for the most part, it will be a budget build. There might be some splurges uh, that I wanna indulge in. I, I want some good looking uh, winter rims and winter tires. As for the ice racing tires uh, and rims, I don't really care for the appearance of those because those are only on for the race. Um, so I'll, I'll get some nice looking wheels. The catalytic converter has been removed. I hate this whiny noise. Uh, the R32 is known for the great sounding uh, Wookiee noise, if you will. Uh, but this is just like a, a, a Wookiee with his balls pinched. Uh, it's a high pitch, terrible squealing noise, which I am uh, honestly not into. But I don't have a welder and I'll sort that out later. What else do I need to do on this car? Well, first, the, all the brakes are rusted. This is the first time I've actually driven the car uh, more than one mile. And 
I can see on the rotors there's still a ton of rust and I've been driving it for you know I'd say about 10 miles now and that needs to be fixed so new pads hopefully the rotors don't need to be replaced uh, I'm sure they do then I'll be bleeding the brakes going through the whole brake system I will be servicing the all-wheel drive system you know your typical oil change I will get done um, and then making sure the car is is ready right ready for some racing and ready for some long road trips I want to do Wookiee in the Woods which I believe is in uh, in April or January February maybe March March April May that kind of area so that will be about a 2,000 mile trip for me uh, and I'm gonna do the ice racing and every time I don't have a car trailer so I will be driving this to Wisconsin I live in Chicago now and this is pretty north up by Green Bay area so that'll be a good three four hundred miles a weekend when I go up there for the racing so I need to make sure this car is good enough for these kind of trips my daily driver currently is a 2017 F-150 I love that car or the truck um, I also have a 2018 R8 RWS which is kind of <laughs> weird I bought one of the only all-wheel drive cars from 2000 all-wheel drive VW's from 2004 and then I bought the only rear-wheel drive R8 so R8s are known to be the Quattro system the Golf and the GTI are known to be front-wheel drive so I bought the complete opposites of both uh, probably buying the, the rear-wheel drive R8 wasn't uh, the best decision as far as safety but it's limited edition this is limited edition I love limited edition things I don't know most people think I'm crazy but I do think they hold their value for some some aspect of it uh, but it is, it is fun just to have something that is limited I think mostly everything in my life I buy limited edition or something that is rare uh, many people make fun of me but that's ah, just who I am so I must say this is my first time actually driving an R32 I test drove one when I was uh, 22 and back then I found basically a silver R32 I believe it was 60,000 miles it had two sets of uh, wheels uh, and one summer set and one winter set and they were selling it the dealership close by me was selling it for sixteen thousand five hundred dollars so this must have been in 2010 yeah 2010 and uh, 2010 2011 it was going for sixteen thousand five hundred dollars when I got to the dealership they just received it in on a trade and they didn't know what they had they just thought it was a, a normal GTI so when I got there they're like hey we just figured this out but since you saw the price um, we will honor the price but really this should be about uh, $22,000 especially with the extra set of wheels so I test drove it maybe a mile and I told them cool I want it but I don't have the finances uh, together so can I put a deposit down and give me a week to uh, get the finances so that's what I did I put the money down try to get the finances I would have to finance the car and at the same time I was getting approved for a mortgage and I was a bit scared that I would get denied on my mortgage because I was financing a car so I had to make the terrible phone call of calling calling the dealership and letting the car go literally I called the dealership let them go and then I was like no I need this car I absolutely need this car screw the house I called the dealership back and they apparently had a long list of people that also wanted the car so as soon as I called the dealership back and said you know what let's do it 
They said, sorry man, as soon as you told us no, we called up the next person in line and they come in to get it this afternoon. So I did lose my dream car back then and I guess that's why I've always wanted, uh, well not why, that's one of the reasons why I picked it up now as well. It's because it's always been on my, my dream car list. So, I hope you'll enjoy the content that this car creates and yeah let's see what uh, what fun I can get into with my 2004 VW R32 so thanks for tuning in Hope you liked that video, but be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see all the work I'm going to put into this and making sure it's ready for the Wisconsin ice racing season.